I've come to the realization recently that I just suck at Fortnite. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. This is a game from last night. And I just wanted to practice, see if I could get a bit better. Changed up my key bindings again. Got all the building on my uh, on my mouse now. And I just wanted to try and, and get better. It's not so much the shooting aspect. Like I've got years of multiplayer FPS, Counter-Strike, just honed in. The movement, the aim is there. But the building, I don't know, man. I just, I think you need to practice for hours and hours every single day to get good at the building and to know what to do in what situation when you get into a 1v1 or a 1v2. What do you build and how do you build? And editing is like a, a whole nother ball game. So this weekend, just gone on Saturday, I got to play in the Fortnite Summer Skirmish. Uh, I wasn't supposed to be playing in it, but uh, my friend Bongi from Two Angry Gamers, Bongi and Tom, I often do videos with them. Those guys were invited to play in the Summer Skirmish, but um, at the last minute, for whatever reason, Tommy couldn't make it, he couldn't play. So Bong, Adam, asked me, do you want to be my partner? So I said, yeah, okay. Now, <laughs> this Summer Skirmish thing that Epic Games are doing, there's a lot of prize money involved. I think for the one that we played on Saturday, if you came first, you won like 60 grand, $60,000. And in the top 20 places, won prize money. But it was a interesting format where you played a maximum of 10 games and the first team to get 13 points would be the winner. And in each game, if your team collectively got more than five kills, you would get two points, I think. And if you won the game, you would get four points. So it could have been over really quick, but it ended up going all the way. And of course, a lot of the players in this tournament are pros. I reckon like 90% of the, the players in it were pros. There were some streamers and YouTubers in there as well, but they're the kind of streamers and YouTubers that just play Fortnite. So they're very good at the game anyway. And uh, I thought, yeah, it'll be a laugh. It'll be, be a bit of fun. I, I expected that we would get absolutely hammered and wouldn't win anything. But, you know, I like spending time with, uh, with Adam. And uh, I thought it'd be a cool experience. So we played nine games out of the ten, I think. Had to go on the 10th game for whatever reason. But um, it was good fun. We got a few kills every now and again. We did actually take out a couple of the pros. But the most kills that we got in a game was three. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the other games we just ended up dying with uh, zero kills. So we didn't win any prize money. Expected that to happen. But one of the main things that stood out for me was just how bad I am at building like I am terrible at it and the first couple of games that we played our strategy was to just go as far away as possible from everyone else and go to a town where no one landed loot up get full shield get some decent weapons and then we would move into the circle and hopefully come up behind someone who was having a fight and maybe managed to steal a few kills because we knew that there was absolutely no chance we would ever win a game because of the calibre of players that we were up against. So that was our tactic and it was the wrong tactic because in the first two games we got looted up, then we moved into the zone and then the second we found someone, they just attacked us, built like crazy. We were there like 
rabbits in the headlight trying to build you know basic one by ones they're building giant structures in the sky that have like supports everywhere instantly and they just run up on you and kill you (laughs) the pro players in fortnite especially at building are just on another level and if you're good at building in this game you're going to dominate like 90 percent of the players because it makes such a big difference to combat and engagements. If you're a good builder and you can quickly throw up a wall, edit it to make a window, shotgun someone, then place another wall so they can't shotgun you or block them out when you're building upwards, you can just completely control how every single fight goes. It's such a key skill and component of the game. And if you're not good at building, then it's going to turn out pretty bad for you when you start to come up against players who are. So first two games went really bad. I don't think we got any kills. So what we decided to do was we would do a kind of hot drop where we'd go to places where other people were landing and just try and look out and get a couple of early weapons and take the fight early because... Of course, you don't start with any materials in this game. So we thought, well, we're not bad FPS players. So if we get down early and get a gun and fight people when they don't have materials and they can't build, then we've probably got a much better chance of getting those five kills we needed to get two points on the board. So that was our new strategy. And it it worked a few times. Like we hot dropped and we were taking people out like earlier on in the game when they didn't have mats. And there were a few sketchy moments, but we ended up getting like three kills, I think on three or four of the matches. And then there were a couple of matches where we only had two. But of course we were never going to win a match. So we were just going for the kills. And that strategy worked a bit better, but we still never got enough to actually score any points but most importantly we had fun it was a laugh and it was a good experience and uh, it was fun to just get dumped on by pros who were (laughs) ridiculously good at building and it made me want to get better at, at building because that's the element of the game that I suck at I'm just not very good at it as you can see in this match I'm just trying to learn my new key bindings <laughs> Building ramp after ramp after ramp. And uh, I don't know, somehow I came out with nine kills from Tilted Towers. But if you were paying attention to the footage as well as listening to me, you'd have seen that most of those kills, there wasn't much building involved. It was mostly just uh, straight up like 1v1s and movement. There wasn't really much building at all. And the players that I was going up against weren't very good because they weren't building either. So nothing impressive there. And for some reason, as I'm coming out of Tilt Towers, it's just like a stream of other players who are trying to take me out. That one was close. 12 HP. I thought I was done for there. I was about ready to slam the desk. <laughs> Cause I was like, okay, this is going to be a good, this is going to be a good game. This is going to be a good video. If I die at 11 kills with 15 players left, then I'm probably not going to post the video, but turned out okay, 12 HP, and uh, we made it. I think there's one more guy, and I heard his footsteps, because there's a ramp back there. There he is. I don't know what this guy was doing, but look how slow I am, man. Someone who's good could have done that within a second, but for some reason he just didn't move. I don't know why. But whatever, we'll pick up his loot and skip ahead here. We're in the final five and I'm just embarrassing myself as I try and get across Loot Lake. <laughs> Look at this building. So bad. I keep like putting walls in front of myself when I mean to put a ramp and messing up. And I know that that's just practice. Like I can get better at this. And this fight here was very close, but I kind of got used to switching between weapons now. You know, the shotgun to the SMG combo can be very powerful but you've got to be quick with that and keep your movement in mind at the same time so I did take that guy out run 13 kills and as I was saying I know that it will just be practice and getting used to key bindings and getting that muscle memory and like if I press these three keys in this order as quick as I can I know that I'll make a ramp which is surrounded by walls if I press this key I know that I can edit really quick and then make a window or make a half wall or something so it's just really going to take time and practice for me to 
go into the playground mode and just run around building and building and building and then eventually it becomes muscle memory and that's when you can really start to hone your skills and practice your tactics with the building rather than just trying to wing it which is what I do most of the time but that guy there in the cuddle team leader you could tell that he was a good player because of the way he was building there and now it's a 1v1 just me and him left and I've got to move over there so I thought that while he's maybe healing, picking up loot, I would get over there and maybe he won't see me. But we do get over here. I'll tell you what though, I would love to play a version of Fortnite, like a limited time mode maybe, where there's no building whatsoever. And you might say, well, isn't that kind of the point? Yeah, but if it was a limited time mode, I think there's enough in the game and the gameplay is good enough and the weapons are interesting enough with the, the traps and jump pads that it would actually be quite fun. So I do wonder if Epic will ever do that because I definitely play that game. Maybe they're working on a separate game. Who knows? What I should have done there was build a ceiling so I could have got away and uh, drunk that shield that I had. <laughs> Hits the golf ball at me, man. Shocking, but well played to a wall in. He was definitely a better builder than I was. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.